Hi, today I'm just going to show you the 14,000 BTU portable air conditioner by Kogan um, reverse cycle heating cooling uh, with also a dry and a fan um, ability. It's also got the swing um, built into it as well. Now, I bought this unit uh, about a week or so ago, um, connected it up uh, just before the weekend um, to the outside of the, the window. Um, this was pretty easy to connect in, um, just followed the instructions in the manual as well as that um, I'm watching some YouTube videos just to see how people have fitted theirs in as well. Um, pretty standard um, uh, window uh, unit. I do need to still put the seal um, down the sides there as well just to get a bit more of a snug fit. With my window I found that um, I needed to add some foam just to stop this from wobbling. Um, and kind of potentially being fall or falling out uh, just because of the size of the window. So I put a bit of foam up the top piece as well as down the bottom here. Um, and because this is a, a full screen window, it doesn't have a center bar at all, so full span, um, I don't really have any locks. So at the moment, um, I've just put in here a bit of uh, styrofoam as well just to stop this from sliding back and forth. The whole setup of the unit was really, really simple. Um, it's just a matter of grabbing um, the hose, the exhaust hose, and screwing that onto the very back of the machine, taking off all the plastic wraps. Um, I've left the plastic screen protector on. Um, apart from that, the aesthetic look of the, the air conditioner or the unit is quite nice. Um, it suits the, the style of this room um, with the white walls, um, and the, the size of it isn't too large. <clears throat> the reason why I've got it in a room like this, I'll show you just for a full picture, is um, this is just a, a home office setup, um, and uh, this gets quite warm. There's only a ceiling fan in here. Um, what happens is um, this, these walls don't have a huge amount of insulation. So in the hotter season, it gets really hot. In the cold season, it gets really, really cold as well. So um, this is quite a good unit. It could actually cool the, the entire house. It's only a small three-bedroom place um, if uh, I have the rest of the fans on throughout the, the, the building. But just within here, it's, um, it's, it's quite good. I just um, can close the door and put a little bump stop down the bottom just to make sure the pressure is all nice, close all the windows, um, and there's, there's no issues. Remote control for the Kogan unit is um, pretty basic. It's got all the functionality you need. Anyway, so um, yeah, the, the inputs on the, on the remote are exactly the same as what's on here. You have the timer to set a different variable timer. Um, you can actually see here just, I'll just put my hand over um, so you can see a bit better, but you can set the, uh, the temperature. It also picks out the, um, the atmosphere temperature, so it tells you what it is um, at the moment within the room, which is quite nice, um, as well as you can change it from degrees to Fahrenheit with a click of a button. Now you're gonna hear the noise of this thing once it starts up, and you will see it might give a little bit of a jerk as well. So it does, when it, when it kicks in, it probably doesn't need it at the moment because it's, it's about on temperature for cooling, 26 degrees in this room. Um, but when I go down in temperature, you're gonna hear the compressor kick in and sometimes it gives a little bit of a tilt um, just when that's kicking in and turning off, which doesn't really bother me too much. The, the noise isn't, isn't too bad, like it is loud, uh, but it's the same as having like a a larger fan, one of those box fans in your, in your room. Um, you've got to remember that this is doing uh, what a wall unit would be doing as well as the outside fan um, all in the same thing. So you're, de you're definitely going to get a lot more noise than what you would from a wall unit um, or a reverse cycle wall unit. So what it's doing down here, you've got to remember that down the sides, this is where it's all sucking in the hot air. Um, so hot air from the room is getting sucked in through here. Um, it's then pumping out cold air and the heat or the hot air um, is then pumping through through the exhaust fan uh, Exhaust tube, sorry. So bear in mind that uh, this does get pretty warm uh, depending on the temperature within the room um, Which is perfectly normal perfectly fine when you go outside you'll feel it um, It is quite hot air coming out of the back there, um, but that's how it's supposed to work. I'm just gonna turn off the uh, The swing so here, you can see it's only a small outlet at the very top, but it doesn't need to be a huge outlet. 
Um, it's got enough pressure behind it. This is only on low setting at the moment. I'm going to turn it so that uh, the temperature is lower so we can get the compressor to kick in. There you go, the little wobble. And it kind of sounds like a fridge. It's like sometimes you hear your fridge at night when it's kicking in, trying to cool itself back down. It's got that little bit of a gurgle sound to it. Um, you kind of do get that same sound from a reverse cycle air conditioner when you're out the back um, where the fans are for the reverse cycle air conditioner. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much the, the noise to be expected. Uh, the coldness that comes out is amazing. Um, I've had to turn it off several times um, with the outside temperature being about 36 outside of this room um, and in here sitting at 27 is, is cold enough, more than cold enough. Um, and I've had to turn, turn the system off because even on low it's been, it's been too cold. Um, so I'll just bump up the, the fan to high. You might be able to hear that there. It's not overly loud, like I could be comfortably sitting on the phone still with this in the background um, as well as I still have my ceiling fan going just to move the air around a bit more in the room. Um, and usually I would probably close this, uh, this window. There's no need with a reverse cycle to have the window open. Um, it's better if you have a full seal within uh, the rooms um, to keep the temperature down. Um, now it does have heating, um, which is perfect. Uh, that I uh, haven't had a, a need to test at this stage um, because it hasn't been cold enough uh, where I am at the moment. But in the next couple of, couple of months, I will be kicking in with the heating. Once again, um, just to recap, this is the Kogan 14,000 BCU portable air conditioning unit um, purchased uh, in February 2017. So far, uh, I would give this uh, portable unit value for money. Um, it's probably up there with the, with the larger units, uh, the more expensive units. Yeah, for, for a Kogan product, this was quite good. It was on sale at the time. Um, only paid around five hundred something dollars. I, I know they're back up to around eight hundred something. But if you are looking for a portable solution, if you're renting, um, then definitely, uh, definitely decide to get one. And you will find that these will be more economical than running an oil heater in winter, um, and better than using, say, an evaporative cooler as well. Um, yeah, hope that has been informative and helped someone out, someone out as well.